All right, we'll get started here. Um, yeah, just, you know, a, a tough loss. I mean, a, a very, very, you know, kind of gut-wrenching loss. Um, I thought our team really responded to a lot of the things we put in front of them as coaches all week. I uh, thought we had a very spirited week and really a very spirited sideline the entire game. Um, you know, had some opportunities, I thought, there, especially at the end of the first half, to really gain some separation. We were playing good ball, just not great ball, um, and had some, you know, chances to separate against a good team on the road, which, you know, when you're a great team, you, you take advantage of those, and we were not quite there yet. And uh, came down to back and forth game. Um, you know, a couple plays that we didn't make, you know, some of the key plays. I mean, obviously having to kick some of those field goals, thought we dropped two for sure touchdown passes, you know, that, that, that certainly hurt. Um, you know, we really did a good job against the run game in the first half. We didn't do a very good job against Hall in the second half. Obviously a couple key penalties. And then, you know, the biggest single play was probably the kickoff return just because we had so much momentum after the turnover and touchdown. Um, you know, that was, a, that was a huge individual play. So, um, you know, had a couple tough calls that didn't go our way. That's part of life on the road. Um, you know, and, and again, you know, we're one play short. And so, uh, you know, we, it's obviously our backs against the wall here as a football team. We know that. We understand that. We accept that. Uh, uh, our guys are hurt. Uh, most of our guys in our room hadn't experienced, you know, a start to a season like this. Uh, but it's still about how, how, you, how you respond. And I believe I know how this group will. I, I, despite the sickening feeling in my stomach right now uh, and how, how, how disappointed we all are, we still know there's a makings of a good football team in there. And it's my job, uh, our staff's job, our players' job to get to our best. And if we do that, this team can reel off a lot of wins. Um, so I'll continue to ride with this team we got a lot of guys in there that are down, but are certainly not out of the fight. And we're going to keep taking steps to get better. Yeah, we'll go to questions. We'll go to Barry Trammell. Yeah, Lincoln, at uh, twice there down the stretch with the officials, I assume the last one was the hold, wanted to hold one for Hambo. Yeah. What was the first one? Institution situation? Um, yeah, it was a substitution situation that we, we didn't agree with. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I mean, just, you know, how tightly they called, uh, how tightly they called the game on the perimeter. You know, we, we were recipient of several of those. Uh, it was disappointing, you know, maybe the single biggest play of the game that, that, that something that obvious was missed. But it was missed. That's part of, you got to overcome bad calls at times. That's, that's part of it. And, uh, uh, but we, we, we weren't good enough to overcome that one. Yeah, let's go to Jason Kersey. Yeah, Lincoln, you, know, you talked earlier about playing good but not great football in the first half. What, what do you guys have to do to keep your foot on the gas and, and put teams away like that? Yeah, just honestly just make less mistakes and make more plays. I mean, as easy as that sounds. I mean, I thought our – I thought our fight and our resolve and our energy was was so much better consistently throughout the game than it was last week. Um, I, I, you know, the the mistakes that we had were, uh, you know, obviously disappointing. But again, you're playing a good football team on the road too. I mean, it's not all going to be perfect. Uh, but yeah, I mean, having to kick some of those field goals when we were moving the ball at will. Um, you know, gave up a couple of long conversions. Um, just a few little things here and there that were the difference between having a small lead at halftime and a, and, and a really big lead. So, uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's like I said, it's the, the frustration of you're playing good, but not as good that you, as you know you can. Um, but, you know, for, for us, that, that frustration can't boil over into, you know, getting discouraged and to not continuing to push and be the direction that we know we can. That frustration's got to continue to fuel us and we've got to continue to push to be what we can because we know what we can be and we're, and we're not there yet. And I know nobody wants to hear it, but the reality is we're close. We're closer than even we think right now because we're so disappointed in the end result, but we're, we're close. And if this team will keep hammering away, this team will get there. 
Eric Bailey. Hey, Lincoln, I just want to know, you talked about the kickoff return being such a big play, but what about that defensive holding call that replaced the three and out, and then the next play was the 65 yard touchdown pass? Yeah, no, I mean, there were, there were several through the night. Listen, that, you know, sometimes those go your way, sometimes they didn't. They didn't go our way tonight. John Hoover. Hey, Lincoln, just wanted to ask about the uh, fourth quarter in particular. Second week in a row, you guys didn't respond either on special teams, on offense, or on defense in the fourth quarter. Does that surprise you a little bit? You, you thought this team poised was a little bit better, or is that just a reflection of the youth and inexperience on this team? Yeah, well, we, we we responded pretty good at the beginning of it, best I remember. Um, so uh, didn't do very obviously didn't do it very good at the end. I mean, you know, I, I I don't know exactly what it is. I mean, yeah, is it some young guys in some key position? Sure, uh, but again, that's that's not an excuse for a crutch. I mean, we 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 feel like we have the players in there to to continue to get better. We feel like we took some steps. Again, nobody's. You know, it's hard to accept that when you when you look at the scoreboard at the end of the game. It, it just uh, we're so used to winning and we expect to win every time we touch the field, and that's not going to change. So yeah, we have, we have some youth, we have some key guys, and some and that that are that are young and in some of these positions for the first time. But you know, they've got to grow. You know, and we got to continue to coach them better, and we've got to continue to go finish. We've got to continue to grow and get to the point where we can finish the games we know we can and play as good as we know that we can. Gary Murdoch. Lincoln, I'm sorry. Uh, how surprised have you been just in your secondary? I mean, you had some opportunities to pick some balls off tonight, and it's just not been a strength of your team, which I think everybody thought it would be coming into the season. Yeah, I mean, like kind of like this whole team. I, I, I don't know that there's – any part of the team that you sit there and say has been just awful or any part of the team that you look there and has just been great. I mean, that, that's kind of been our problem as we've been, you know, too up and down everywhere. But that's a fair, you know, it's fair. I mean, we returned a lot of guys there. Um, that's a group that, that certainly is not lacking on experience. Um, that's a group that, all you know, all of those guys can, can certainly play better. We've got some depth. Uh, you know, we'll continue to, to explore that depth. Uh, but, yeah, no question. I mean, do we hold ourselves to a higher standard? Do we feel like we've got to make some of those plays? Yes. Are you going to make them all as a DB, as a defense? No. But there's certainly some out there that we, we can make and that for us to be the defense and team we want to be that we are going to have to make. A couple more. Brandon Drum. Yeah, Lincoln, uh, in the first half, it looked like there was, I guess, a footing issue. Uh, there was a lot of sliding around. Uh, did you, what did y'all do to adjust to that in the second half? And can, can you sense the frustration on the sideline with the missed tackles? I mean, as coaches, do you all sense that with the players and, and kind of try to calm them down? Or, and how did y'all deal with that, I guess, throughout the game? No, I thought our guys hung in there and kept swinging the entire game. I mean, that's uh, – yeah, I mean, listen, when, when – when you have the expectations that we do, sure, there's going to be a tiny level of disappointment anytime anything doesn't go your way, whether you miss a tackle or you drop a pass or you miss a blitz or whatever. I mean, it's, you know, you're not going to be happy about things that don't go well. But I, I thought we hung in there and, and, and we really kept swinging and a, a lot better. I mean, no question about that. I don't feel like our fight was 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 the problem. Again, we do, we got to play better football and we and we got to. We got to quit having critical breakdowns in key moments, and that's uh, so. I think that's the main part of it there. And then, uh, yeah, as far as the footing, um, no, I didn't think so. I mean, it, you know, it was a little wet early, um, uh, but if if it was footing, it wasn't anything with shoes or anything like that. It was you know us getting out of position. I thought both teams slipped around a little bit. They've got a little bit high tur turf, so that's that's nothing new here. Keegan you touched on it just a second ago, but uh, obviously I asked you this week about tackling the effort not being an issue a week ago. Um, it was tonight. Can you point towards anything about why that happened? And, and maybe you know there's a question about emphasis on turnovers and takeaways and stripping the football. But is this? Could you just point towards anything to maybe why the tackling you know faltered tonight for you? Yeah, I thought we, I thought we, you know, led with our shoulder too much. I thought, you know, too often guys just coming in there trying to clean somebody up and, and go for the big hit as opposed to getting these guys down. And, uh, 
And, and so, you know, that that's the key. I mean, the, when you're trying to strip balls and knock balls loose, I mean, it comes, you got to make a good solid tackle first. And if you get a great shot on a guy and make a great tackle, that's great. Or if you can get a guy wrapped up and then, the you know, the rest of the guys come in and start stripping, that's great. But too often, you know, I think the combination of two things, either the first guy getting there trying to take a big shot as opposed to just wrapping them up. And then I think the second thing is, um, you know, if a first guy's there and got him wrapped up and the other guy's coming to clean him, the first guy's still got to finish it off. And I thought we had examples of both. And and, 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 and listen, too, I mean, the back's a good player. I mean, the back is, you know, makes some people, he makes a lot of people miss, you know, and that's, he, he's a good football player. He's going to get a couple, but, you know, we, we gave him too many uh, that he got loose on in the second half. So um, that's, uh, you know, we have to be better. And James Hill. Lincoln, uh, obviously your football team is good enough to win the first two games and you don't either play here or play there or something happens. You haven't won the first two games. How frustrated are you and your staff and your team right now that you're very close to being 2-0, and but yet you're on 2 at this point? Yeah, no, that's a sick feeling, you know, especially about tonight. Just like I said, I, our, our energy level in fight, the energy level on that sideline the entire night. I mean, it was, uh, it was, it was the energy level in fight was what it's supposed to be to win road football games. And we've been around a lot of great road wins around here, and that's that's what it feels like. And then, then how, against good teams on the road, the quality of ball's got to back that up too. You know, especially when you have a few breaks that don't go your way, you got to be able to just play through it. And uh, so. No, it's hard to describe. I mean, the frustration and, and it is so, it's just hard to explain to people how much it hurts. It, it, it's um, it's just, if you haven't been in it, it's so difficult to explain. But like I said, the, it's it's balanced by, I just, I know what this team can be. And I know, I know that we can get there. And the, the only, the only disappointment, the only failure in this thing will be is if we don't find out how good we can be. And if we let this, you know, somehow, you know, take away from our growth as a team and our growth as a program. So, you know, you got a choice, man. These are these are tough times, you know, and you either you either back down or bow up and uh, we'll find out what we're all about.